What's going on, guys? Anthony Vaughn here from Cognizance Capital, and uh, I, I wanted to make this video for my leaders. I wanted to make this video for anyone that has a tribe of what, like 6, 12, 18, 24 people. Um, and more importantly, I wanted to make this video for organizations, um, startup companies, network marketing teams that have had success, right? Massive success, whether it's in the millions, the thousands, whatever it's going to be. And now they're kind of seeing that success plateau. Now they potentially could be seeing that success drop off and um, dramatically. And, and, and what I want to say and, and what I want to make very clear is that if you're a leader right now, you have to understand a few different variables. You have to understand how to listen. You have to understand empathy. But most importantly, you have to understand the brain. Now, there were a few triggers and a few levers that allowed your success to spike when you started having that success. And there was a behavior change that took place because every single person in your organization was not born a true champion, was not born a leader, was not born a salesman, was not born um, with these entrepreneur skills and, and variables. And, and what you did as a leader to some degree was you ignited that behavior change. You took Jimmy from being a lazy fuck to now building something incredible for himself. But what's happening when your company plateaus and what happens when your sales plateau or evens out, whatever the case is going to be, what happens is this, Jimmy did something different. His behavior change went from hustle, creativity, moving on 70% of the context that was locked deep inside of his memory banks and on 30% of the new and innovative content and context. And now he's only moving on 90 to 100% of what's in here and not looking for ways to innovate, not looking for ways to be different, not looking for ways to change. And what I want to make very simple and what I want to make very clear to you guys is this. You have to be a leader and recognize when Jimmy has an issue. You need to use your ears and listen and then utilize empathy to figure out what triggered his shift, what triggered that change in behavior, what triggered him from being a person that was hustling, being a person that was spending 30 to 40 percent of his time looking for new ways to motivate himself, looking for new ways to, to you know, to, to jab the marketplace, looking for new ways to do something productive instead of looking for ways to stay consistent of what he's been doing over the past 6, 12, 18, 24 months, whatever the case is going to be. That's your job by asking questions, by figuring out what the hell is really going on inside of here with little old Jimmy. And then once you find that out, once you figure out it's problems at home with the girl, once you figure out that it's his, his son or his daughter has been sick, once you figure out that he just actually doesn't give a shit anymore about the overall practices and functions of the company, you have to make a decision. Are you going to utilize empathy, which is understanding him, which is fully embracing his story, embracing his context? Or are you going to utilize anger and disappointment and, and uh, zinging, if you will, and zest? And what I would say, and what we've realized here at Cognizance Capital is that zest and that, sing, that zinging does not work. You must utilize empathy. You must figure out exactly how you can impact him, whether it's you know helping him go into another organization where he can thrive, or most importantly, what I would recommend that you do is you figure out that next trigger. You figure out exactly what's going to allow him to make that new behavior shift, make that new behavior change. You recall on some of his old wins. You recall on some of his small wins, whether it was eight months ago or 12 months ago or 24 months ago you recall on what he used to do that allowed him to be successful and then most importantly most importantly you take your time whether it's 40 new hours 70 new hours 80 new hours a month and you figure out exactly how you how exactly excuse me how you can fix what the hell's going on and behind the scenes of his life, what exactly is going on in the context of his own personal life. And you figure out how you can impact him. You figure out how you can help him. You figure out exactly what you can do to make sure that his life is secure. His life is safe. His life is natural. And then most importantly, after that, you figure out those new levers and those new triggers to activate that creativity, to activate the new tasks, to activate the new opportunities for him so that you can spike his innovation, so that you can spike his motivation, so that you can spike his creativity, so that you can start to have him... Um, Jump into a little bit of a fear state, a little bit of a threat state, but that's always natural. And that's always great for innovation. That's great for change. And then you will see your company start to spike again because Jimmy and Sally and Bobby and Susan and, and uh, Leanne, whatever the case is going to be, you've now figured out the context of their personal life. They now trust you and now they're going to do whatever you ask them to do and you're going to be asking them to 
figure out new ways to be creative, asking them to put forth action on these new ideas and these new practices that you think are beneficial. So the gist of this overall rant and the cognizant thought is this, guys, figure out what the hell is actually going on with your tribe and why you kind of are doing this instead of doing that. And then figure out exactly what some of the levels are behind the scenes that are igniting this behavior change from being, you know, an organization that was thriving, an organization that was creative. And now you guys are kind of flatlining and, and that's not good and that's not beneficial for. So it's your job as a leader to utilize awareness. It's your job as a leader to utilize curiosity and figure out why instead of just saying it is what it is. Thanks a lot.